Hello, my name is Susan McVeigh, and I've been teaching at Newmark Elementary School for 22 years. Newmark, it is the largest elementary school, but I like to think of each individual classroom kind of as our own little family. That's one thing that I really stress to my students is that they, you know, they're going to be 180 days with each other, with me, and we treat each other like family. We build each other up, they praise each other, they work together, and so within each classroom, you have that family environment. For example, the kindergarten class, and so we go down every Friday and work with the kindergartners for Book Buddies. You know, they're able to take that family atmosphere, share it with another class. We worry about them, we care for them, um, you know, we're helping them in any way we can. One of the things we try to do is get a variety of things. I mean, I have students that need to move a little bit, so this year we tried to incorporate some flexible seating. Um, we added in some exercise balls. They work great for some students. We added one big exercise bike, some desk cycles. It just gives them a chance to move and fidget a little bit and still be on task. As far as classwork goes, I mean, there are times where, yes, we cer certainly use paper. There are times where we, you know, go outside and do projects, but we try to offer a variety of things like that. Um, you know, in math, for example, we do problems multiple different ways because not everyone does it the same basic way. I really stress to them that everybody in here learns differently, everybody in here is at different levels, and so they really do a good job of understanding that kids might be reading at different levels, they might be working at different levels. Everybody gets included because it's, everyone's made in different ways. It's pretty neat when it all works together, and then we do projects, hands-on projects, where you have someone who maybe is a visual learner working with someone who does best on paper pencil, and then they can take those strengths and combine them together and make some, some pretty, interesting, pretty interesting products. Hi, my name is Leanne Thompson. I am the third grade teacher at Ladoga Elementary School. Our elementary is obviously one-to-one. -one. Every student has their own device. We use the devices to help the kids as far as supplementing our curriculum. We also um, are able to find additional resources, uh, normally electronic resources that they can utilize as they are uh, learning a new topic. The technology is helping us to reach all levels of our learners. And with the iPads, we are able to create, we are able to explore, uh, we are able to take virtual field trips that would never have been never would never have happened before. Uh, my class just this last week took a virtual tour of the White House. We would never have been able to do that without our devices. So they get to experience things that they would never have gotten to experience before. Their iPads literally can take them to new places. My favorite part is knowing that these children are going to grow up to be adults who can function in society and who are knowledgeable and never give up that drive to continue learning. Teaching them, hey, you can go out there and you can succeed. You can be somebody. We could have a future president sitting in our room. We could have a CEO sitting in this room. We don't know what we have. We can affect our future. Hi, my name is Mrs. Ellenberger for Southmont Schools. I teach art at Walnut and Ladoga Elementary Schools. I've been teaching 18 years. The main reason I do this, I really enjoy working with both schools. Great schools, they're both wonderful bunches of teachers. I enjoy seeing that many people as well, and I feel like I can cover a lot of territory meeting with a lot of different students and staff members. I just think it's gonna help these kids become more successful in all their academic areas. Um, I actually work in the classrooms quite a bit on the times that I don't teach. I go in there and see what skills they're working on on a weekly basis. I talk to the teachers on a weekly basis about what they're doing. I come back to my art room, try to apply some of those concepts in art on a hands-on approach. For example, this is a fifth grade math integration project that I did. Um, their standards are volume, surface area, uh, acute angles, those kind of uh, standards. So I came back to art and we applied those concepts. Plus we also of course put in my uh, sculptural concepts with art elements and principles. So there's a lot of referencing the text, a lot of reading and literacy integration, and these are the kind of things that I try to do as much as possible in my classroom. But it's just a fun, hands-on way for them to understand those concepts. It's a different way of thinking. Um, and sometimes it takes this kind of approach for it to click for some kids. 
It's been shown in study after study that if kids have art three hours a week, that their test scores go up, their attendance rate goes up, and behavior issues go down. The arts are so vital in our schools, and I think that they're so important. The kids come in and they enjoy them so much. You know, they come in so excited, so ready to learn. I do several neat projects where I bring in artists, or I do art shows, I do a renaissance festival. That's the kind of thing you can't do in a textbook. It's just right there, it's hands-on, and it's just amazing.